Andrea Curry is an avid independent crafter and designer who loves the challenge of crafting everyday and special occasion crafts using recycled, found daily life and cultural items in her projects. Andrea is one of the hosts of the fabulous Cool to Craft Pajama Party Live on Wednesday nights, and she hosts her own internet show called Craftastic Live. Today, Andrea is here to get us in the mood for Halloween. I'm delighted to welcome Andrea Curry. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Good morning. Can I get a woo? <laughs> it's morning here in uh, sunny San Diego. <laughs> Good, you can hear me. Um, I'm wearing my little crown so that Candace can see. I know she was asking about my crown. And um, so I'm wearing my crown for you, Candace. <laughs> so you can see, I, I was telling everybody, uh, I have a crowd, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I am really in the mood for Halloween. I love Halloween. And so today I'm going to be making a slider card. Um, I'm not using recycled materials from my kitchen, but I am using um, some recycled paper. So that's uh, how I'm integrating my whole motto of recycling as much as possible. And um, I'll just show you my little first guy that I created, and he's a nice Halloween card for my nephews. And what's cool is he opens up and he says, boo, happy Halloween, and then he closes back up. Who doesn't love googly eyes? Okay, so that's, that's what he does, and if you aren't familiar with slider cards, slider cards are really um, actually quite easy to do once you get the concept of it. And so it's a lot of fun to do, and that's why I created this template uh, to get you kind of started on a slider card, and this is specifically for my little monsters, and um, I'll be working off of this template today, kind of uh, my first slider template, and that will give you a good idea of how sliders work. Really what you just need is um, my template, which I actually was going to give just one away today, but since it's Labor Day and you all are so awesome, I'm going to give it away to everybody in the Cool to Craft room. So it's going to be uh, a really fun, and all I ask is that you guys uh, give me comments on my blog post about this, it'll have a link to it, and tell me how the template worked out for you, because I want to make sure that it's a good enough template to uh, put out there, and that's why I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, so that is going to make a guy like this, and Tiffany, if you want to put the photo up, It'll show just a closer up version of him. We're going to be using different um, paper, but you'll get the, the good uh, drift on that, right? He's super cute. Now, you can make him kind of like a party, uh, you know, birthday guy, or you can make him a Halloween guy. You can do different messages, that kind of thing. <laughs> Got my husband running around in the background. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, so I should be going to craft cam soon. Hold on. Getting there. Did it move? I don't know, Tiffany, if you move the thing. Let's see. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I'm still there. <laughs> Let's go to the other one. Da -na 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 Craft cam. So here he is. <laughs> Let me close my little window here. Here he is here. And he just opens like so. He's five pieces total. And this is good to note that when you're cutting out the template, um, it actually is five pieces. I know it looks like four pieces here. But you need to cut out his little teeth here so that uh, you have the five pieces so that you can have a different piece of paper for your teeth. Now, you can go crazy, creative, decorative with this, but the general gist of it is cut out your template, make sure that you cut out your teeth, and then that's going to give you your, your templates to cut out onto different papers. Like I said earlier, I'm using recycled papers from Die Cuts with a View, so I actually used some um, recycled paper, or it's eco-friendly, eco-friendly paper. And these are my pieces. So this is the slider mechanism. You need just a little bit of grocery bag. You need about three and a half long by two and a half wide of grocery bag, and this is actually what makes this whole thing pop open and close. 
So just like that. So it's actually attached to uh, this, this cool, easy, and recycled, see, look, I recycled here, uh, little bag here. And then you just need a tape runner, and then you're pretty much good to go. So what I did is I cut out all my pieces. You can do coordinating colors. You can do any colors you want. I'm doing kind of brown and red today because my sister's favorite colors are brown and red, and I'm making her a Halloween card. I like to make projects that I'm actually going to use. Um, I know Lisa was saying a while back that she kind of has this, like, graveyard of demo crafts, and I like to make sure that, um, like her, that I'm actually making functional and <laughs> sendable crafts. So uh, here's my little face. The face is actually kind of looks like it has ears, but those ears are just functional little tabs that you're going to fold over. I tried to make it pretty clear on the template that there's, you know, there's the fold lines, the little dash marks here. Pretty easy. And then I also did adhesive lines here and here. So I tried to make it pretty easy for everybody to understand. But again, that's why I'm, I'm giving away the template so that you guys can give me feedback on if it was helpful or, you know, what can make it more helpful if you liked it. And also pictures of your projects as well because that is, uh, that's really nice to see how people used it and decorated it, that kind of thing. Okay, so here's my, here's what you have to do is you have to start out with your slider mechanism. It's kind of the harder part um, of this easy project, but I like to start out with this so that you have that all out of the way before you start decorating. Like I said, this is a three and a half long by two and a half wide. It doesn't have to span this whole slider bar here. Um, it just has to get nearly around it. And what I want to do is just give the end of this, the very end of this, some tape runner. And then I just fold over, and I probably have a little bit of excess, which is fine. And you don't need it to be super tight. You want to pull and make sure that it's not super tight. I kind of made that one a little bit tighter than I should have, but that's okay. You want to make sure that it actually slides. And you can loosen it a little by just going back and forth. Just like that. And then if you have a little bit of excess like I do, I like to have a little bit of excess just so that I can kind of pull it around. And that way did make that a little too tight, but that's okay. I can loosen that up. If you have it too tight on there and you're probably not going to be able to get it off, just put your ruler underneath and just kind of push your uh, your little bag up a little bit there. That way it's sort of stretching it out. And then you don't need it super loose or super tight. You just want to make sure that it, it will go back and forth. Okay, perfect. So now I want to cut off my excess. Like I said, this is kind of the harder technical part of this. But now you want to cut off your excess. I'm just going to take my little Fiskar scissors. And now you need to identify which is going to be your top. Your top slider is going to go on actually this side of your, um, your mechanism. Because if you think about it, this top slider is going to be covered by the little head face here. So it actually is going, actually it's the bottom slider that's going to go here, and it's going to go like this. So I'll just kind of mock it for you. This is the bottom slider, and this is the top slider. So that's how it's going to look when it's in its resting kind of position there. And all you have to do is get your seam for your top slider all the way at the bottom. Put some more glue on it, and make sure you don't get any glue on the paper itself. It's very, very important, or else it's not going to slide. Sorry, I'm off camera. <laughs> all right. Ah! All right, so, sorry, I was pushing, pushing it off camera. Okay. So, just go ahead and put your slider right there so we have it just like that. And then once it is... Once it is actually attached with the bottom slider, then you can push this down a lot easier because you're getting the opposite force. Okay, now flip it open. This is where you're going to put a little adhesive on the top here. And then you want to put your bottom slider just like that. Now, do you see I, did, I didn't put a whole bunch of adhesive on there because you need it to be free. 
underneath here. So it needs to be able to move back and forth just like that. Okay. So, just like that. And I want, I wanted to use my mouthpiece. Actually, I want to remove that really quick. I want to do my mouthpiece with the pattern. My mouthpiece has to have the pattern. So flip that upside down, and voila, there we go. So, just like so, you have your functional little piece. Look at that. Okay. So that is how a basic slider works. There's tons of different ways of doing sliders, and I've seen lots and lots and lots of them. Um, but I created this template because I kind of felt like it would be easier for me to work off of a template than to um, work with some of the different techniques that I've seen on slider cards. And of course, most slider cards that you see are going to use these, these bags. So it's, it's pretty easy there. Okay, let's move our mechanism off to the side. Let's decorate our guy a little bit. And I'm, I'm not watching the time too much. But I'm just going to decorate him first before I put him onto the actual mechanism. And all I did was take some Fiskars uh, teardrop punches. I got on sale yesterday. Um, I got on sale yesterday from Michael. Yay, love sales. Um, I got it on sale for like six bucks. Isn't that a deal? Uh, so I use that for the, kind of the background for my googly eyes. You can't really get away with doing monsters without googly eyes, right? Um, I'm going to put the teeth actually on his upper jaw, which is his face essentially. So I'm just going to give it that a little bit of glue. On my other one, I put teeth on the upper and lower jaw. But I'm just kind of feeling like... This could be really different, and I just wanted to show you different ways of doing this. So he has, look at those teeth. Okay, <laughs> so he has little teeth there. And then you can really just play around with, you can even decorate his little spike here, um, his bottom jaw here. But you can see this is basically how it's going to look once it's attached. Uh, so look, <laughs> he's got these huge chompers. And then you can, you know, I wanted to put like a little, triangle on his bottom jaw just to, I don't know, give him like a little chin or maybe even it'll look like a little, um, like a, a tongue or something like that. So I just got some sparkle paper. And then um, I actually cut out Happy Halloween from my template piece. You can see here I cut that out just to make it easy for me. Of course, you can stamp things and, you know, do whatever you want with that. But just to make it easy and give you guys options if you're sending off Halloween cards, I already kind of gave you a little message to put on there, and that should work out just fine. So it's pretty, pretty, I tried to make it as versatile as possible, but you guys let me know once I post that on my um, blog. Okay, so it's going to look a lot like that. And his little teethers are going to cover the happy Halloween. <laughs> He's looking pretty cool. Okay, so... Just put uh, yourself a little bit of adhesive on his ears, his ear flaps, and cover. Look at that. It's just that easy. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting the call for Tiffany to hop back in. So thanks, everybody, for watching.